For today's meditation, it's best to find a quiet place where you can sit. As you sit, try to make yourself as comfortable as possible without leaning back. The best way to sit for meditation is as though someone is taking a string that's attached to the very top of your head and pulling you up toward the ceiling so that all of your bones align. When your bones are in alignment, there is very little, if any, stress on your muscles. Do your best to find this position. If you can't find it, that's okay. Do the best you can. As you find your position, close your eyes and start to watch your breath. Your breath should be through your nose Breathe in and out through your nose without forcing the breath in any way. Allow your breath to rise and fall naturally. Imagine that you can see your breath coming in and out of your nose. It sounds silly, but the reason we do this is to give our minds something to do. This allows us to clear our minds so that we can be at peace. As you do this, watch your breath go in and out. Thoughts will come to you. This is fine. It's part of the process. Let the thought come to you. Let it come to you, and then let it go on its way as you return to watching your breath. We're going to do this for a minute, and then I will tell you a story about being clean. What does it mean to be clean? There's a story of two monks. One was younger, the student, and he was learning from the older monk, whom he called master. Their order was an old one, designed to help the monks attain a depth of spirit and true wisdom. But the path wasn't easy. The monks had to abstain from many worldly pleasures. Their diet was strict. Their practice required study and meditation. And they were called to remain single even to the point where they were called to deny themselves the chance to even speak to or touch a person they found attractive. In doing this, the monks sought to remain clean in spirit so that they might grow and dwell in the grace of the Almighty. But one day as the two monks journeyed on foot, they came to a swiftly moving stream. To continue on the path, one had to cross that stream. At the stream's edge stood a beautiful young woman fighting back the tears. She saw the monks, and knowing that they were to refrain from speaking to her, she said, Dear friends, can you help? I must cross, but I am afraid the water will carry me off, and I cannot swim. Without a word, and to the astonishment of the young monk, the older monk swept the woman into his arms and carried her across the stream. When they reached the other side, the woman fell at the monk's feet, thanking him repeatedly, and then 
she hurried on her way. The two monks continued their journey for the better part of two hours in silence. The younger monk was incensed. How could his master do such a thing? How could he break his vows? How could such a man be called teacher? Finally, his rage became too much. Master, he said, our vows, how could you? The first vow is compassion, the master replied. But master, the younger monk continued, enough, the master said. I carried her across the stream. You are still carrying her. Today, let your spirit be clean. Release any anger, any resentment, any fear, any pain. Remember briefly what has made you feel these things, and as you watch your breath, let those things flow out of you like water. Let them flow and remember God is with you. God will create in you a clean heart. Remember that showing compassion will indeed make your heart clean.